What is going on everyone and welcome back to the August monthly update vlog. So welcome to the channel everyone who's new. Uh, this video is basically like what's going to happen during the month and some highlight games that we might cover and stuff. So before we get started into everything, I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers here on YouTube, Twitch, and everywhere. Uh, I do appreciate it. I like to ask this every month or so. What game or what like series did I do that made you find my channel or follow it? Uh, I am curious. We've been doing YouTube for about, I would say, eight years now. And people come from different games. I do have like over 250 different games on the channel, Let's Plays. So I'm curious, which one did I play that made you decide to subscribe to your channel or something? But anyway, with that said, um, August, there's not really too many... Uh, upcoming games that I'm super into. Summer is usually the dry month or dry season for games that usually come out. Then quarter four is when everything hits you and all the hype games come out. So we do have some things. I wrote it down. Um, so August, we don't really have a lot going on that's new. We have a few continuing series as usual, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, so yeah, what have you guys been playing? I am curious. Question, what games have you been playing lately? Just out of curiosity. For me, I still do play Elder Scrolls Online, Black Desert, and recently I picked up the new Fire Emblem Three Houses game on the Switch, and that one's just kind of something I play on the side, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So yeah, what are you guys playing? Alright, so with that said, upcoming games for August... Some of these are kind of questionable. Well, that's actually only two of them. So, August 20, we have Remnant from the Ashes. Don't really know what it's about. I saw a trailer of it. That's basically all the information I have on it. So, yeah. Maybe we'll play that. Maybe it's a stream game. And we'll get to all the social media stuff later. But don't worry about that. August 30, probably the highlight of the month. We'll be playing The Man of Medan. Um, so it was by the same developers of Until Dawn. It's kind of a different story, but kind of like the same purpose or idea. If you've ever played Until Dawn, it's kind of like a horror um, interactive choice game. And I enjoyed Until Dawn. Never played the Rush of Blood DLC, but uh, The Man of Medan, I watched the trailer. It looked pretty awesome. If you're into horror games, that's another one. It's one of those games where you kind of have to play it multiple times to like see all the scenes and, you know, either get the good ending or the bad ending. <laughs> so we'll see what we could do. It's probably going to be more fun on Twitch. So if you don't follow me on there, uh, just do so. All the links are going to be in the description. We'll get to that a little bit later. But yeah, other than that, those are really the upcoming games that are new for the month. Of course, we'll be playing The Elder Scrolls Online as usual. There's probably going to be some events in August. Um, Black Desert Online still going to go up as usual, so don't worry if all of you who still like those games. Still going to happen as usual. I do check the Xbox, PlayStation, and Steam Store regularly and all the other PC stuff if something else comes out. But um, yeah, so if something comes out midway or just gets randomly announced that's caught my attention, I'll try that out. So I do have a Switch or a Nintendo Switch. I don't really do too many like handheld console games. Um, mostly because I don't really know how to get it set up. Like I'm pretty sure I do have the equipment to like record it. I just, it's kind of a hassle compared to like console and all the stuff it's already just set up. So for like phone games, I would love to do phone games, um, Switch, like, you know, all that stuff. So... It's just kind of hard to set up for me, but I can do it. And yeah, so we'll see how that happens, but who knows. Um, so yeah, ESO, BDO, the two upcoming games. Not really sure what else, but in terms of social media, a lot of, we'll just answer some questions a lot of you guys have been asking throughout the month's comments and all this stuff. So social media, which one's the best one to follow you on? 
Uh, if you are just looking for videos, occasional like highlights and stuff, Facebook is the way to go. I don't really read comments there. I just kind of post links to videos to my YouTube. And that's about it. So if that's all you're interested in, follow me on Facebook. If you want to keep up with like updates on everything, Twitter is probably a good spot to follow. Um, there you'll get questions answered fastest uh, next to Discord as well. Uh, once again, Discord. We have a server for ourselves, so if you want to check it out, um, we have some like side areas for like BDO, ESO, and all this stuff. If you want to talk to me, that's awesome. Discord's a really good place for that. Uh, if you're just trying to look for some help on various games, I'm sure like other people who play the same games I do uh, that join my Discord, you can probably ask some questions there, and then you'll get it answered. Otherwise, I'll do it. So, yeah, Discord, trying to grow the community there, and hopefully you guys will be interested in that. Um, Twitter is also a good place if you want to keep up with like outside gaming stuff as well. Let's see, what else? Twitch TV. I feel like you should know what that is by this point, especially if you are following a video game channel. Uh, but anyway, Twitch is a live streaming platform. So I play games live, you watch it, you interact, you play games together. Live, fun, good stuff. Links in the description. Um, another thing is, I really think that's all the important ones. I have an Instagram, but it's more just like random pictures of stuff, food. Um, so yeah, a few other things I want to mention that I don't really talk about during videos is on my YouTube, I have like a join or a subscription button. So basically there's a subscribe button to, you know, the usual subscribe on YouTube. And then there's a join button, which is like, if you know what Twitch is, it's basically a subscription there instead of a follow. Um, so some of the incentives I can offer for the YouTube subscription uh, thing, it's kind of difficult because there's a subscription and join membership, I guess we could call it. Um, so basically what I could do for that is these kind of videos where I do special vlogs, I could post them like one day or a few days early in advance and you guys can watch it. Of course, it'll be ad free until it goes live on the public. So like these vlog videos, they usually go up on the first of every month and I will never like charge people to watch my videos. It's just if you want to join the membership thingy and see what it's all about, that's awesome. So I could post these videos like a day or so in advance and of course, they'll be ad free and you guys can just watch them early. And then on the first, they'll be going live into the public for everyone else and with ads on it. So, yeah, um, YouTube is going to do some changes. Most of it is if you're not a content creator, you're just going to see some UI uh, platform changes. Nothing really too bad. It's like it's out there now, but it's going to be the default starting or in August. So just get used to like a little different UI. Um, so if you have it now, cool, nothing's gonna happen. And, uh, so yeah, for the membership thingy, I'm still working on, like, emotes and all that stuff, the subscription icons, so if you're an artist, feel free to hit me up on Discord, we'll see, like, maybe I'll look into what you can do and pay you for that. So, um, let's see, what else do we have? Patreon, don't really use it as much, but if you want to just check out or read about what it's like as a YouTuber, content creator, I've been doing it for eight years, and yeah, just read what it's all about. So, YouTube has had its ups and downs, so that's why I kind of have a little, a few extra subscription options and all this stuff, memberships you could just join. I'm pretty sure like a lot of other YouTubers do it as well. So, it's pretty cool. Nothing is mandatory. My videos will always be free to watch. If you just feel like doing something extra, that's awesome. If not, that's awesome as well. I don't really mind your viewership, all that matters. And um, yeah, so as for July, there wasn't a vlog video. There really wasn't much coming out that month to even make one. There's not really much this month either, but uh, I assume starting like September through the rest of the year, 2019, uh, that's when games get hectic and all of the like special stuff comes out to games get announced. So yeah, that's pretty much it. 
So we have Remnant from the Ashes, August 20th. Man of Medan, August 30th. ESO and BDO still going on as usual. Social media, just everything's in the link, or everything is a link in the description if you want to check it out. Um, but yeah, I think I'll be streaming a little bit more. Other than that, just hit me up on Discord if you have any questions. YouTube comments, I always read those regardless. Whichever one you're on the most, probably the best for you. So yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.